Buying a business for your wife, is that a good idea in the Philippines? The first thing I want to say is, what does your wife do now? What's the relevance? Well, as some people have already mentioned on this channel, uh, Maria, for example, she teaches her kids to sell food at work, at school, etc. Because most other parents, whatever, um, will give the kids money to spend. Where if you've got the resources and ability to do it, you can be selling the food. Um, I myself used to sell stuff at school. I used to sell floppy disks when they were at a premium because on a Saturday I used to get on the um, train and head up to Birmingham, buy them in bulk, bring them back to Worcester, then I would sell them at school on a Monday. And you think, well, <laughs> that's not a lot of money. Even then I was making 60, I'd say 60 to a couple of hundred pounds a week on floppy disks because of the prices of them. Um, that is a mental ability to do that sort of stuff. So if you've got a partner that's, well, what have you done? Well, I sit in my mum's store all day. I watch TV. I can tell you everything about a TV show or the latest celebrities. My advice is don't bother buying a business. They've got to have their drive and ambition. Um, I've seen people do it with jeepney routes. They bought the wife's jeepneys. The wife is just going to be like, oh, look, I've got my own jeepneys. Is she going to get involved in the business? Is she going to do the bookkeeping? Is she going to go through the vehicle and double check that parts aren't being stolen? Because they will swap, swap things like alternators and batteries and stuff out and sell them. You know, they'll basically give you a duff battery off someone else's vehicle and take the money. I've had it myself. A guy had um, bought a car from his boss agreed installments and then he didn't pay the installments so the boss was taking the car back so the guy comes to me and asks me if I wanted to buy the battery off the car that's the way people are he hadn't even made the first installment but he felt um, offended that the car was being repossessed yet he's now stealing parts off it so bear in mind this is the mentality you're sometimes dealing with you have to think are you going to do anything or am I better off just putting the uh, money on the fire and get a ni nice glow and warmth off it because a lot of the time you are throwing it away but other times you will find that there is a, a glimmer a, a sharp bright light that comes out of some people that get it and will make you money they'll make themselves money they'll push things forward my wife's one of those people for example she has the ability to lead other people develop other people etc so she's very good at it and my wife sold underwear she sold handbags she sold um, all sorts of stuff but she uses the power of the network because she's not selling like say a thousand handbags but her network working all over work all over the place so she'll like wholesale it to somebody else with a small cut on the top and that person will offload a hundred handbags and then Another person will off offload another 100, another person will offload 200, and then you just take a bit off everybody. But that takes developing a network. Other people are good at the direct sales, hitting the person um, with the sales head on and getting the money in that way. Other people are good at cooking um, and could run a restaurant. Other people know small little niche businesses in the area, um, and the family may already be or uh, operating some of them. But you need to understand what your wife's capabilities are. If you don't, don't invest in anything until you get across that bridge because you could invest thousands of pesos or even millions and have a business that's a complete failure. And the reason I bring this up, because I know some people will listen, some people won't. A lot of people that don't, I'll tell you now, when you do it, you may end up going back to the West because you've lost everything you earned. And I know what's that? three expats that lost everything. I mean, they, they had a pension, but they had a load of lump sum and everything else. But then they got in, into investments. The first investment was all their capital, all the spare money. Then we can live off the pension. But then they had to then invest more money, so they got loans. So then half the pension gets eaten up. And it got to the point they had to come back to the West to work because everything they own... The initial investment plus their monthly pension was eaten up by a duff business or even worse, a duff wife. Um, so 
If you don't know about business, don't invest. If you do know about business and can trust your wife, highly recommend it because the Philippines is easy to make money if you've got the right network and the right people to do it. Um, it's not going to be big money, at least not to start. But I have made really good money in the Philippines myself. So it is possible. You've just got to find the right niche, the right idea, and run with it. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.